You are gonna want dumbbells for upper body and for lower body. You might want various upper body dumbbells. You might want a little lighter of a pair, not too light, but just a little light. And then dumbbells for lower body too as well. Mat, soft surface, all that jazz. As you're coming into class, you need dumbbells for lower body. You need some dumbbells for upper body. You might want various dumbbells for upper body. A little bit of a lighter pair, not too light, but lighter than normal. We'll go ahead and start getting warmed up. I want you to step your left leg back into a reverse lunge and just pulse it out. Pull those shoulders back. Arms down at your sides, on your hips, wherever you want them. Slowly get a little lower with that knee. Pulse it down. Go ahead and take your arms down to the ground. Drop that left knee down low. And then we're going to go into some straight leg extension. So both legs go straight, bring that right toe up, and then right back into the lunge. So low lunge, and then we straighten out, and then low lunge, last one on the side. Straighten out. Good, switch the legs back to our pulse now that our right foot's back. Slowly get that knee down lower and lower as we keep pulsing through. Good, drop it down, hands come down, knee down. And straighten, lift that left toe, push the left heel down and bend and hold. Straighten, bend, last one, straighten, step in to meet that foot, bring it on up, bring the knee to the elbow, Just alternate sides, wake those hips up. Two more each side. And jumping jacks, get that full body up and move it. Last two. And one, drive that knee up open and then switch. Knee up, open, switch. One more each leg. And butt kicks, slightly forward, quick feet. Pick up that pace, get the heel up to the glute. Three, two, one, lateral lunge with a reach, alternate sides.
Two more each side. And high knees. Slightly back, drive those knees up, up, up. Pump those arms. Three, two, one. Plant the feet. Torso rotations. Last part of warm up here. One more each side. Awesome. I'm gonna go over our moves. Your first one. You've got a hop, run, to plank jack. Just remember three of everything. So our single leg hop. So hop, hop. Hop, there's our three. Runner for three, but three each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to the ground for three plank jacks. So in that high plank position, jumping those legs out for three. And then you write back up. Hop, 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 run, plank jack. Just remember threes. Next one. You need your lower body dumbbells. Dumbbell in each hand. Palms facing towards you. You're going to do a staggered Romanian deadlift. So right forward, left back, whichever leg you start forward with, it doesn't matter. But you've got one remaining deadlift. So those legs are slightly bent, not much. Nice flat back, step in, regular Romanian deadlift. And then the other leg goes back, other side of the body staggered. Romanian deadlift, and then the other leg goes back. So always a regular Romanian deadlift, traditional with both legs. Right at shoulder width, in between a stagger where the right's in front or the left's in front. And then our last one. You may want lighter dumbbells for this. It's a lot of upper body, a lot of moves, so pay attention. So we're in our hammer position, so dumbbells are facing. You're gonna do a hammer curl up to a press, unpress, uncurl, and then we have front raises, but it's one arm at a time, and you're still in that neutral position where your palms are facing in. So curl, press, Lower, uncurl, and then right arm straight out, left arm straight out. That's one repetition. Curl, press, right arm or left arm, whichever one you want to start with. But one arm at a time, keep those palms facing. Let's get started with our first move, our cardio move. We all know round one is everything 60 seconds long. Hop, run, plank, jack, all in threes. One hit on the clock. Three, two, one. Here we go. Get some traveling with those hops. Quick run, they're not meant to be slow. And then power right back up. Threes of everything. Six total runs. Twenty seconds left. You're doing good. First round's always the hardest. Plus five, three, two, one. Grab your heavies, your lower body. Staggered Romanian deadlift, traditional, and then staggered with the other leading leg. Go. Push the butt back. Flat back. On that staggered, make sure those toes are still straight ahead. This is not a cardio move, so take your time. Keep that sight forward. Focus which leg you just did, so you're alternating. Just a slight bend in the knees, nothing too crazy. This is our straight leg deadlift. Working those hamstrings, glutes. 
Last three, two, one. Very good. If you need to switch out dumbbells, hammer curls, the palms facing in. Curl, press, undo that, and then single arm front raise. Ready? Go. Curl, press, lower, uncurl. One arm at a time. Palms still facing in. That's one rep. Keep it going. Don't just swing your arms slow and in control. Especially on those front raises. Work with that resistance. Ten seconds left. Then we're back up to the top, but we'll drop down to 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Get those weights out of your way. Go on a triple room. Hop, run, plank, jack, all in threes. And we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, pick it up. I know you can go faster than that. Let's go. Quick runs, quick hops, quick jacks, all of it. Ten seconds left. Come on, how many more can you do? Three, two. One, lower body weights, staggered, regular, other lead leg, staggered. Ready? Go. Keep those legs, or those dumbbells close to your legs. Don't look down at the weights or the floor. Pull your shoulders back, look up at me. Alternate that lead leg. Don't pull a heather, you can do it. Good job. Just kidding, Heather. Less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, hammer curl to press. It's a single arm hammer front raise. Sounds like a lot, but we got it. Three, two, one, let's go. Slow and in control. Don't just swing those arms. Target those shoulders to raise those arms straight out ahead of you. Fifteen seconds left, and then one more time through it all. Four, three, two, one. Weights out of our way. Hop, run, and plank jack in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Thirty seconds as fast as we can. Come on. Already halfway, let's go, pick it up. Four, three, two, one. Way to push, grab those dumbbells for RDL. Check those toes, make sure they're forward. Ready, begin. Adjust those feet every time. Good 
Good job. Pull those shoulders back. Last five. Three, two, one. Curl press to front raise. Last 30 seconds here of circuit one. Three, two, one. Begin. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Take your break, and then I'll come back and show us our next moves for circuit two. Next move. So we've got over and under the fence. So you're going to imagine you've got a little fence here. You need to hop over it and then back to the start twice. So hop over, hop back over, and then it's under the fence. So you jump down. Move yourself under, move yourself back under, and then hop back up so you can hop right back over that fence. So over and under, modification, just big steps, drive those knees, and then down into plank. You can still do that plank. There's no hopping with that one. It's just a moving plank from the right and then back to the left. So two of each. Don't hop over it and then go under it. I want you to switch that way. We're moving our muscles both the right and the left, and we're not favoring one side. Second one then, we've got renegade row, right, left, and then five hop in. So we are holding onto our dumbbells, unless that bothers your wrist for any reason. Have your palms down and just pick up the weight when you need to to row. But you've got a renegade row, the right, left, and then five hop ins. If you need to modify the hop in, just step, step, and take it right back out but you stay down the entire time. They're just hop-ins. You don't pop up like you would for a burpee, okay? And then our last one. This is where you might want a little bit of a lighter weight for our upper body dumbbells. Because you're gonna do a bicep curl, but then I want you to do a single arm rotating punch straight out. So you're gonna be hovering that dumbbell. So yes, you can lift a lot heavier for biceps, but to punch out, you might need a little lighter. So as a both arm bicep curl, and then we rotate and punch with the right, rotate, punch with the left. So bicep curl, and then you kind of curl it back up, rotate, curl it back up, rotate and punch. So don't forget that both arm bicep curl in between both of those arm punches, okay? All right, so we've got over, over, under, under the fence. Three, two, one, here we go, 60 seconds. Again, modify it, but imagine it is a pretty high fence. You gotta drive that knee up and over. Plank position. You gotta stay super low. We can't have our butt up in the air or else we're gonna hit that fence. So stay low. Halfway, good job. Job, keep moving. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Grab your dumbbells, Romanian deadlift. So right, left, and then five plank hop-ins. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, if you don't like holding under the dumbbells, just have your hands on the inside. Do your row and then go to your hop-ins or walk-ins. This can bother people's wrists and that's okay. Make it work for you. Walk those knees in if you need to. I know I need to. A little baby girl doesn't like when I do that. Unless she's working out with me, I haven't figured that out yet. But either way, she don't like it. 15 seconds left. Three, 
Three, two, one. All right, bicep curl, lower. Single arm curl, rotate and punch. So when you punch, your palm is facing down, right? Three, two, one, let's go. Forceful punch. It's not a front raise like we just did. I want to punch. Weighted jab. Job. Don't forget that full two arm curl in between. Don't just curl up, rotate, and punch. Two arm bicep curl in between there. Four, three, two, one, weights down out of your way. Over, over, under, under that fence. 45 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, here we go. Keep that butt down on those planks. We don't want that fence to get you. Barbed wire, electrical fence, whatever you gotta tell yourself to get that booty down. Less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Renegade row to five hop-ins or walk-in, whatever you gotta do. Three, two, one. Here we go. Try not to rotate open too much with those hips, especially on the row. Keep those headlights down. Your hips, glutes, they're gonna be elevated a little bit. Just don't push them up. Don't make that upside down V. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up, curl, lower. Single arm curl, rotate to that punch. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, I want forceful jabs. So if that weight's too heavy, you're not stable doing the jab, lower your weights. I want forceful, not just a front raise. Less than 10 left. Three, two, one. Weights down. Back into the top. Last time you're gonna do any of these. Over and under that fence. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, keep pushing, keep pushing. Over and over, under and under. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to the ground. Onto those renegades, right, left, five hop wins. Three, two, one, here we go. Four, 
four, three, two, one. Bicep curl, rotating punch. Three, two, one, begin. Last three, two, one. Awesome. Well deserved break for that circuit two. Take it and then we'll bring you right back for circuit three. Last week we did a traveling burpee. So you had burpees along the line. We're gonna do that again today, but instead of burpees, it's mountain climbers. So a lot like how we just climbed under and back under that fence. Five each leg, so count to 10. Slide it on over, 10 mountain climbers. Slide on over. If you have the space for three spots on your line, perfect. If you only have the space at your house for two on your line, that's perfectly fine to do, okay? Again, modify the mountain climber by just walking it in and then walk over to the next spot. Next one, we're gonna take it down to the ground. We have a dumbbell chest fly. So feet flat on the ground, knees bent. You do not need to hold a glute bridge. Arms extended straight out and then we slightly bend those elbows as we open and close the chest for our chest fly. If you have a stability ball at home or a BOSU ball, or if you want to lie on your table, if that's secure for you, if you don't want to be on the ground, that's perfectly fine too as well. You've always got that option. And then our third one is a half kneeling tricep kickback. So we'll have one foot forward, the other one back, down on that knee, leaning into it, side of the body that the knee is bent will be the one we do our kickbacks. And then we'll quickly switch and we'll go over to the other arm. That's circuit three. Let's get going with our moving along the line. Mountain climbers, just remember five each leg, so count to 10, okay? 60 seconds on the clock. Round one. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, if you can get those three spots, perfect. Two, perfect. If you only got one, then you're just doing mountain climbers, okay? Whatever space you have at home, I just want you moving. You don't have to travel too far. Just a step over on that side and then let the other side of the body follow. Nice plank position. Still trying to keep our butt down. A lot of shoulders today with class. Feeling it in these planks. Last five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Chest fly. Three, two, one. Begin. Keep that bend in those elbows. Allow the back, the side of those upper arms, let them touch the floor, let them sit there for a second or two. And then power up. By doing a floor position like that and letting those arms sit there, you're gonna target those muscles even more, just like if you were on a bench here at the gym and you had that distance from the bench to the floor. Letting those arms sit there is gonna target those muscles even more. So it's just like you're on a bench. Just keep that bend. Don't extend those arms fully. Last five, three, two, one. Bring it up, half kneeling kickbacks. We'll do 30 seconds on the right and then 30 seconds on the left. So right foot forward, dumbbell in the right arm. You can lean on that left. Three, two, one. Here we go. Only thing moving is our forearm. We pull that upper arm in, and then we extend that arm back behind us. So bent elbow to extended.
Last five, we'll switch. Three, two, one, switch the legs. Weight in the other arm. You can use that right arm now to lean on your left knee. Or if you want it straight down, whatever works for you. I like to lean a little bit, it gets me some more depth. Last 10. Now we're back to our traveling mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Here we go. Get that space back, move down that line. 10 total, five each leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good job, keep pushing that pace, let's go. Only 45 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Chest fly. Three, two, one, here we go. Halfway. Last three, two, one. Bring it up, flip it on over. Three, two, one, here we go. Just that forearm moves. Try and hover that weight back there. How long can you hold it in that extended position? And then don't let gravity take over. You're in control on the way back. Three, two, one. Quickly switch, go in your set. Last five. Three, two, one. Along the line, mountain climbers. 30 seconds, fast, hard as you can, up and down that line. Three, two, one, let's go. How many times can you go up and down that line in 30 seconds? That's your goal, let's go. Push. Halfway, come on, faster, faster, faster. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Way to pump up that heart rate. Chest flies. Let's target those upper body muscles. Three, two, one. Go. Last 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, tricep, right side. Ready, begin. It's only 15 seconds each side, don't rush, but just we have to transition quickly. 
Try to do the even side on the right and the left. Three, two, one, switch and go. Last three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, quick little break, and then we'll get ready for circuit four. It is gonna be all core too as well. We've got some side planks, reverse crunch, lots of fun stuff. So take your break, and then we'll get right back to it. Your first one, it's gonna be a full sit up, straight leg, but with some clap throughs. So you'll lie back, full sit up, and then we clap underneath. So that's the only time your knee is bent is when you're coming up to clap through, otherwise they're straight. And then lower it down, sit back up, alternate legs. I'll be modifying with that. So if you wanna take out the sit up with me, you can definitely do that. And then our second one is a side plank. It's gonna be top knee to elbow and then a straight leg toe touch. So a lot in our side plank. So you can modify, you can have that bottom knee down but your hip up but it's gonna be knee to elbow, and then straight leg lift, reaching for that toe, okay? So knee, toe, knee, toe, and then we'll switch halfway. Again, you can hold a full side plank, or you can modify down on the knee, just keep that lower hip up off the ground. And then your last one is a reverse crunch with a hip lift. So lying flat on your back, pull both knees into the chest, and then we lift, our butt up off the sky for that hip lift. You can support your lower lumbar, hands right by your butt and spine. So reverse crunch, knees come in, hip lift. Right back to that crunch and then undo it. Notice my legs do not touch the ground. Of course, I'll be modifying that one too as well. So let's go ahead and get started with that first one. Sit up, clap through, so your legs are straight, but as you pull them in, you bend to clap through. Here we go, one minute, three, Two, one, begin. Full sit up, alternate those legs, but a full sit up in between. Sit up, clap through under the right, sit up, clap through under the left. Just over halfway. Last 10. Three, two, one, flip it over, whatever side you want to start with. Another quick transition move. We got to get to the other side as quickly as possible. Knee to elbow, straight leg, reach for the toe. Ready? Begin. So crunch, come meet that knee with that elbow, and then that leg is straight. Get ready to switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Other side quickly. As soon as you're set, you go. Working those glutes too. You should be feeling that. Four, three, two, one. All right, reverse crunch, hip lift. Keep those legs and knees pinned together. Pull the knees into the chest, straight leg, bottom of the shoe up to the sky, lower down, bend, extend. Three, two, one, begin. Remember when you lower those legs back down after the hip lift, the last half of that reverse crunch, 
We don't want them to touch the ground. That's how we work those lower abdominals. Unless you absolutely need to, then take a break. I know a minute can be a long time. You're already 30 seconds through, halfway. Ten seconds left, then back up to the top. We'll drop down to 45. Four, three, two, one. Sit up, clap throughs. Legs are straight. Pull in that bent knee for the clap through. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Halfway, good job. Nice exhales when you're up at the top for that clap through. Don't hold your breath. Side plank coming up next, less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Pick a side. Elbow to knee, and then straight leg, toe reach. Ready? Let's go. That leg goes straight up in the air. Fingertips extend towards the shoe. You're not bringing that toe to you. Three, two, one, switch. Four, three, two, one. Take it back down. Reverse crunch. Both knees into the chest. Hip lift. Go. Good job, you guys. One more round left. We'll drop down to 30 seconds. And then you are done with your workout today. Push through. You got 90 seconds of work coming up next. Four, three, two, one. Get a good deep breath. Get ready for those clap throughs. Three, two, one. Begin. Here we go, last time for all of these. Really attack that core. Pull that belly button in tight. Use those lower abdominals, pull those knees in for that clap through. Finish strong. Four, three, two, one side plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Switch and go. Three, two, one. Here we go, last 30 seconds right here. Reverse crunch, hip lift. Three, two, one, let's go.
Last 10. Keep those legs elevated. Let's go. You got it. Last five. Three, two, one. Full body stretch and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next week.